everybody. Welcome back to Miss Glow Glow Motivation. I'm back with another motivational slash breakfast video. Life is sweet. That's what my cup say. I wanted to come on here and do a little story time and eat with you guys. I want to talk about my weight loss journey, my life changing, lifestyle changing journey. And, uh, and just eat with you guys because this is a video that has been requested. I'm gonna get into the video, get into it. Let me pour my water up. We have to fill my water cup up so we can have water to drink. Happy Tuesday to everybody. How's everybody doing today? God bless you all. Don't forget to keep Camilla Neelion, Neelion in your prayers as she uh, just laid her niece to rest. Um, let me show y'all the outfit of the day before we get into this video right quick so I won't have to do it. When I get through eating, I'm going to be going straight into my workout. So I just have on some uh, nice little comfortable outfit to work out in. That's it. That's all. Nothing special. And uh, we have for breakfast here, we have fried egg, some sausage, a little taste of grapes and some guac I don't know why but I like guac with eggs so we got a little hint of guac we got our iced coffee here that I made this at home uh, in my water let's go ahead and say grace and jump into this video Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I petition the throne of grace again, thanking you for blessing me to live to see you on this blessed, beautiful, wonderfully made Tuesday. Lord, I thank you for each and every member of my family. Father God, I ask that you bless this food and let it be a nourishment for my mind, body, soul, and my spirit. Lord, take out any defile me, Lord, anything in this food that can cause any hurt, harm, or danger to my body inside and out. Bind it right now in the name of Jesus. Destroy it and take it out, God. Father God, I just want to ask that you bless your peoples everywhere all over this universe, that they may have something to eat, that they may be sheltered and clothed in the mighty name of Jesus, and bless all of my subscribers. Amen. So, yeah, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Back with another video. I have me some uh, fried eggs, some grapes, breakfast sashi, some water, and iced coffee. So today on this video, we are going to be talking about my lifestyle changing habit. Me losing weight is not just uh, me losing weight. You know, a lot of people do a weight loss journey. This is not just a weight loss journey. This is a lifestyle changing journey. You know, my niece is um, a fitness coach a nutritionist, uh, whatever, uh, uh, weight loss advisor. And she has a page on here that is taking charge with Tamiko. Go check it out. I'm sure her email is on there. If you decide that you want to start a life changing lifestyle journey, hit her up. Very good. Look at her story. Watch her video because she is at 130. I think her, her highest she want to be is like one, 35 or something. I'm not sure. I'm really not so sure. But she's been maintenance now for 10 or 11 years. And she went from 280, I think, to 130. And she's been maintenance at that for like 10 or 11 years. Go check her out. So what I'm doing, this is a lifestyle changing. And I want it to become habit forming. I want uh, working out to become a habit for me that when I wake up in the morning, all I think about is what I'm going to, what workout I'm going to do today, or how much I'm going to walk, how many miles I'm going to get in. That's what I want. Um, in the process of me uh, doing that change, I'm also trying to go through a, a natural hair transformation change. So I don't want to put any more relaxers in my hair. It's just going to have to be natural. It's going to have to be flat iron. Or I'm going to have to go to a shop and just get it washed, conditioned, and, and flattened. Okay? So that's what. let's take a bite. My food getting cold. I have a fried egg. Mm. And I'm making myself also... Get used to where I don't have to have no um, salt and pepper 
directly on my food. So, and I done let my eggs got a little cold talking to y'all, but that's okay. We're going to eat this breakfast. I got to eat because I got to work out. I got medicine I got to take. And y'all, another thing about this lifestyle change is my medicine intake have dramatically declined. Dramatically. I think I'm only taking like, as far as medicine measure, a fluid pill, a cholesterol pill, which I think is going to be gone real soon. Uh, Megalazine for my vertigo. Anybody know what vertigo is? It's like a, a motion sickness, water sickness. I, I have it real bad. And um, uh, aspirin that I have to take every day because I had a stroke in the brain. And yeah, that's it. Yeah. Vertigo, fluid, cholesterol. And ask me. I only got four pills I have to pills I have to take. Um blood pressure. I take a half a pill a day every now and then. Because my blood pressure since I've been losing weight, tends to run low. But it's been running low all the time. So they pretty much took me off of that. Now, I think the only time I have a problem with my blood pressure is if I eat a lot of pork. Like, during Christmas or Thanksgiving, we have ham, and I love ham. And especially the fat that's around the ham. If my ham ain't got no fat, I don't want it. And sometimes I tend to overindulge on that, and I can't lie. Mmm. Yeah. So, I'm self teaching myself how to eat right. My, my next thing I want to accomplish is what's good carbs and bad carbs. And I want to get where I can keep my carb intake at a certain percentage a day. My fat intake as well. So, yeah. But for the most, my journey is going good. So like I said, I think I said it before, I'm down 60 pounds. I feel real good about it. I love the way my weight is coming out from head to foot and how my neck is being defined and everything. I love working out. Believe me, I had a lazy day. I'm not perfect. But I love working out. I love walking too. I wanted to get a treadmill, but I think I prefer to keep walking in there. Because I walk in the highways of my building. Our building is two blocks wide. Two blocks long. And if you know how long blocks is in Wisconsin, our highway is very long. I done showed you guys. So, sometimes I do five miles a day in here walking. And I love it. Now, being on this journey is not easy. It's not easy, but nothing in life is easy to me. I think the only thing easy is getting to know God. And even with that, you still have challenges. Mm. Them grapes are so good and sweet. I got these from Marketplace. So the, the fruit that I buy is grapes, oranges, grapefruit. I have some 
peaches that's in there, but I don't know. I think I'm going to have to throw them out because I've been having them a while and they even start feeling soft or something. Um, but those are the fruits that I like. I eat strawberries, but I don't buy them because they go bad too quick before I can eat them. Y'all know I love bananas, but... I think the manufacturers, the producers, or whoever is doing the bananas, I think they're doing something to the bananas where mm, something ain't right about them. So I probably won't be buying them more bananas for a while. Like eggs. Y'all know I stopped eating fresh eggs. And I started eating um, liquid eggs. I haven't ate an egg, a fresh egg that you crack open in since November, I think. No, I think it was January. Excuse me, I think it was January. So, this one is all right. So I said if I'm going to eat eggs, it's going to have to be fried. Like, this is a hard fried egg on top of stone. You can see the, the yolk. It's hard fried. So that's how I will eat the eggs. But I'm truly enjoying my uh, lifestyle change. I get full so fast, so... I do notice the difference in my food intake. I don't it don't take much or nothing to pull me up now. I tell you, stop chewing yeah. iced coffee is so good i ain't got no ice in i need some ice i don't have any ice in the house <clears throat> but it's good i wanted i was gonna do well i did do one cup of warm coffee but i prefer iced coffee I had to find, yesterday me and my daughter had took me to the store and I was looking for uh, some uh, non-dairy creamer and I found some. So that's what I be looking for. But I couldn't get non-dairy coffee that I know of, that iced coffee, the cold coffee. If you guys know where you can get some non-dairy iced coffee, let me know. And I ain't talking about nothing that you got to go to a restaurant again. No, not that. Ooh, I'm getting full, but I want to make sure that, that I get this protein in. So you need to eat protein, your fresh fruits, I'm not a bread person, so so we ain't worrying about that. I got rid of the eye ring. I don't know. I'm just being obedient and listening to the spirit as to speak to me. You know, the lip ring is gone, but I still have my rings, earrings in my ear. But one thing, I think my eye. was starting to keep feeling sore. So I said, let me just take this mess out. I wasn't born with it, I don't need it. I'm full. Y'all can't see me, but I'm rubbing my stomach back here. I'm full. I feel so much better. Y'all know I was sick. I started feeling sick on Thursday. 
Today is Tuesday, the next week. And I feel good. Yesterday I felt better too. I did a workout. I did two workouts. One was 18 minutes or something long, and one was 10 minutes. And then I went and walked for about 25 minutes, I think. So I was together, my steps yesterday was, I think, 8,000 or something. So, yeah. I'm coming back. My thing is, I got to keep persevering. Jesus didn't give up, and neither will I. Hmm. Life is sweet. Life literally is what you make it. You love life, life will love you. Hmm. I have on my, my workout sports bras. I want us to read the the verse of the day, and let's see what the word of the Lord is saying today. Let's get us a little bit of encouragement from the word of God. The verse of the day is coming from Luke chapter 12, verse 15, and it reads as thus. And he said unto them, take heed and beware of covetousness. For a man's life consisted not in the abundance of the things which he possesses. Don't covet it. nobody's blessings or anything that they have because your life does not consist because of the abundance of things that you have been that you have been blessed with. The inspiration say as Christians we have an eternal mindset we live our earthly lives with an incentive for everlasting life alongside our creator. Worldly things have no meaning to us because they are temporary. And those of us that are true Christians that really have been walking this walk of faith for a while know that um, materialistic things don't have no um, meaning to us. We know it is temporary. We know that once when we when God get ready for us to depart this earth, they're not going with us. We can't take them with us. So we do not fret over things that we cannot take with us. This world is not my home. I look forward to closing my eyes and spending eternity in heaven with my Savior. It say we have no interest in short-lived possessions as we set our sights on God's eternal love. The devotion is going to be coming from Joshua chapter 7, verses 20 through 26. And it says, compare the attitude of God in these verses to the New Testament. How would God react today? Yet he who has not sinned cast the first stone. Let's go to Joshua 7, verse 20. Joshua. Excuse me, guys. Bear with me. Okay, Joshua 7, verse 20. We're going to go for, read verse 20 through 26, okay? And it read as this, And Achan answered Joshua and said, Indeed, I have sinned against the Lord God of Israel, and thus, and thus have I done. 
When I saw among the spars a goodly Babylonish garment and 200 shekels of silver and a wedge of gold of 50 shekels weight, then I coveted them and I took them. And behold, they are hid in the earth. They hid under his tent, in the ground under his tent. They are hid in the earth in the midst of my tent and the silver under it. So Joshua sent messenger and they ran into the tent and behold, it was hid in his tent and the silver under it. And they took them out of the midst of the tent and brought them unto Joshua and unto all the children of Israel and laid them out before the Lord. And Joshua and all Israel with him took Achan, the son of Zerah, and the silver and the garment and the wedge of gold and his sons and his daughters and his oxen, his asses and his sheep and his tent and everything that he had. And they brought them unto the valley of anchor. And Joshua said, Why hast thou troubled us? The Lord shall trouble thee this day. And all Israel stoned him with stones and buried them with fire and burned them with fire after they had stoned them with stones. And they raised over him a great heap of stones unto this day. So the Lord turned from the fierceness of his anger, wherefore the name of that place was called the Valley of Anchor unto this day. So Achan, the Lord, they had, God had gave them victory over this territory. And he had told them, don't take nothing out of this city, nothing. So Achan decided he, you know, greed kicked in and, and, and he wanted, seen the gold, the stones, the jewelry, and he wanted it and he took it and he dug a hole up under his tent and he hid it in the ground under his tent. And he did tell that he had took this thing because they was trying to figure out why are we being troubled by the Lord. They didn't know that he had stole and brought those things back with them into the city where the Lord had told them to go. So when he told them, not only did him taking, being, not only did his disobedience to, to the Lord, to uh, Joshua and the Lord, cost him his life, but his family and his animals and everything that he owned, it caused him to lose his, not just his life, but his kids, all his animals, everything was burned. It was destroyed. So that let us know that obedience is better than sacrifice. And it said, yet he who has not sinned cast the first stone. So it asks us to compare the attitude of God in these verses to the New Testament. How would God react today? I think God will react the same way that he reacted then. Because he tells us in his word that obedience is better than sacrifice. And we have to be obedient to the voice of the Lord. We have to listen. We have to put on our spiritual ears, our spiritual mind, and we have to listen and be obedient. It say in Joshua time, this may not have been a case. As we have read in other parts of the Old Testament, God appreciate obedience and even wanted his followers at the time to fear him. If God trust was taken advantage of, he could become vengeful as in the case in these verses. God threatened to stop having Joshua in the earlier part of chapter seven, unless Joshua finds and rightfully condemn the person or people that sin. God had promised to that he was going to take his hands out of out of blessing, being a blessing to Joshua, unless he found the person that had went against God's word, that did not obey the rules. It said that Perkin Akon pondered the boundaries of recent quests hiding in his camp. Joshua and the Israelite know that Akon must pay for his doing. God has commanded it and others have not seen in his eyes. Achan and his entire family were killed and his possession was deprived 
then God was no longer angry. Because of his disobedience, he had to be killed. Him and everything that he possessed was destroyed. We don't want God to destroy us and everything that we own. We want to be obedient to the word. It's just so good to be obedient to the word and to, to love each other and just for us to to leave our big decisions to God. We can't make big decisions on our own. We have to leave that to God. Obedience is better than sacrifice, God. That is the word of the day coming from Joshua chapter seven. Read the entire chapter seven of Joshua and you will get an understanding of God's word. Why? Because the word of the Lord is blessed and you who are watching, hearing, reading, are blessed in the name of Jesus. So yes, that's the verse of the day. Huh, I'm full. Y'all see, I didn't even eat the grape. I'm really full. Mm. So sweet. So sweet. Well. This is how I know that I'm See, poor. When I cannot I'm swallow poor. that last bite, I am See poor. That? Stop. I can't eating. eat the grape. When I get poor, there is no more biting. There is no more swallowing once I get poor. So, that is one of the things that I learned during my weight loss uh, transformation journey. This lifestyle change that I'm on. Is that when I get full, don't eat. Because if I take one swallow and I'm full, I'm going to be purging. So I learned to listen to my body. I know when I'm full. I know when I'm hungry. When my body is tired, I know when to sit down. Like now, even though I just ate. If, if I don't drink this coffee... I can do my workout and won't feel tired or nothing. It's the sugar. The sugar is a downer for me. And I'm happy that I don't like sugar. I really do not like sugar, guys. Literally. At all. I do not like sugar. But I thank you guys for watching. I truly enjoy coming on here doing these little story times talking to you guys i look forward to getting up doing my workout um going doing my walking hmm god is so good i love god i love being saved guys i love my life now i'm at so much peace you know just focusing on god focusing on me uh, having a goal to make it to heaven, to be in that soldier that endure into the end, because I know that the race is not given to the swift nor the strong, but to the one that endure into the end. And I pray and ask God to give me that uh, strength so that I can endure unto the end. And I know God is going to do just that because he's a good God. He's a great God. He's an almighty, powerful, loving, caring God. And I thank him for that because without him, I would there would be no me. There would be no me. And I thank God for trusting me <clears throat> enough to bless me with another day of grace and mercy. I love you guys. I want to say happy Tuesday to you. If you want to go on the weight loss journey, a uh, lifestyle changing journey, do it. There is nothing to it but to do it. You can do it. You can do it. God will bless you. He will give you the strength. He will lead you. He will guide you. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not saying it's easy. You know, I don't think it's too much of nothing in life that's easy, but uh, you can do it. You can do it. It's it's not an everyday easy thing trying to lose this weight or changing the way 
going from the way I used to eat, where I used to love to eat stuff like anything with fat meat on it, pig ribs, pig feet, pig tails, neck bone, pork chops, anything I had had to have fat or a lot of skin on it. And going from that to where I am now, it is amazing. If I could make a movie showing you my life from when I from the when I was three or something until now, yeah. excuse me, you would be amazed. Because I used to wouldn't eat meat if it didn't have fat or a lot of skin. Uh, it was just, mm, y'all just don't know. God have did a mighty, wonderful thing in my life by changing me, giving me the mind to create that change, to make a change. And I love him. For that, I am grateful. Thank you guys for watching. Happy Tuesday. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I ate what I could. As is always. And I'll see you guys on the next video. What I want to do is I'm thinking about coming back doing a motivational video, uh, which you guys will see probably around four o'clock uh, from Joshua chapter seven, because that is a chapter that a lot of people need to understand. Because some people that read that is probably going to say, oh, we how could God kill uh, 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 this man whole family because of what he did but Akon know that he was wrong he he knew what the rules was he knew what the law was and he still let his greed overtook him sometimes it's just like we living in this world now some that's okay imagine us being david when david saw that sheba bathing out in the courtyard and he was up on his roof just because he saw her bath and she looked good, she was beautiful. He did not have to uh, put her husband on the front line in the battlefield and kill him because he wanted Bathsheba. He, first of all, he already had committed the sinful act of sleeping with that woman and getting her pregnant. So then after that, he decided to kill, have her husband killed. He knew it was wrong. That's why God said, David is a man after my own heart. He was a man. He had a heart of repentance. He truly repented with his whole heart. And that's why he was blessed. He was so blessed. But he yet had to pay for his sins. That's why his child that he had with Bathsheba didn't make it. That first child he had, he died. And David mourned while the child was sick. But when they told him the child was dead, he got up and washed up, did what he had to do. The morning was over with because he knew that he, he there is consequences for our sins. The Bible said for the wages of sin is death. And death came in the form of his uh, David's child. David's child died, was died. He did not live because of David's sin. So we have to be very careful and very mindful of our sins, guys. Okay, so I want to come back and I'm going to read about Joshua and give you guys some more talk on that. I love you. Stay blessed. Happy Tuesday. Guess what? Keep me in your prayers. Keep uh, Camilla kneeling in your prayers. And just let's just pray for the world, guys. God bless. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, thumbs up this video, and I'll see you guys in that next a video why because this is the day this is the day that the lord has made that the lord has made i will rejoice yes i will i will rejoice and be glad in this day until the next time god bless have a wonderful day everybody bye happy tuesday